Thank you for tuning in to this quarter-final matchup of the 2024 Four City Flickers. This took place in London, Ontario in March of 2024. And if you don't recognize these two competitors, you don't know Crokinole. On your left, we have Connor Ryman. On your right, you have Andrew Hutchdaddy Hutchinson. Two good friends, two fantastic competitors are squaring off in a race to nine. Quarterfinal, winner moves on to the semis. Loser gets to watch. Hutchinson first to act a little long on his open 20. Ryman secures the takeout, but also leaves an opportunity for Hutchinson. Hutchinson unable to convert on that. Ryman content to play defense as he rolls out between the pegs. Got himself in a nice position here. Hutchinson secures the takeout, but probably not thrilled with where he left that disc, leaving Ryman the opportunity to do this, which forces Hutchinson into the peel. Connor Ryman drains that open 20, putting a lot of pressure on Hutchinson. Four shots left each. Hutch finds his range. Both players settle in. Ryman takes an extra second to reset. Something didn't feel quite right for him. Goes a little long. 2-2 in the 20 cup. Ryman with the hammer, so he's in control. Hutchinson is going to be looking to make something happen here. He's going to need to need the follow through 20 to put pressure on Ryman. Pushes for that follow through 20. Now all Ryman needs to do is secure a takeout. Which he does. <laughs> Players chuckle about the damage disc bouncing back in toward the middle. See the highlight of that round was uh, Ryman's defensive play, able to keep keep control of the board. Round two is underway. Hutchinson with the hammer, but Hutchinson also the first to miss on the open 20. See if Ryman looks to play defense, or he may. He does look to play defense. Beautiful roll, not leaving Hutchinson a lot. Hutchinson content to pull things back on his side of the board. Love these chess matches. Ryman wants to keep things on the outside. Hutchinson trying to create a way to bring play back into the middle. Ryman takes a second to reset. Pays off this time as he goes up two 20s to zero in the 20 cup. Ryman misses this time. Looks a little bit uh, disappointed with that miss. Oh, wow. I would love to see that in slow-mo as that light disc came back and uh, played defense. A little bit of blocking there. Hutchinson now looking for the touch 20. Unable to get it. Ryman sits three discs on. Hutchinson needs, all he needs is a triple takeout 20. One job to do, one job to do, Hutchinson. More defensive play from Ryman. Ryman up 4-0 in this race to nine. Hutchinson starts that open 20. This time, Ryman the first to miss. Comes up a little short. This is Hutchinson's opportunity to play some defense here, although he may have left the door open a crack. Oh, angle was right, weight was just a little strong. Hutchinson in good position, likely forced a peel out of Ryman, there it is. Peel forcing play back to the middle. Hutchinson a little long, definitely one of the 20, but he's probably uh, pretty okay with where that <laughs> sits until Ryman does that. That was a fantastic follow through 20. Super Steve blew it all the way through the house. And Ryman makes him pay by following that up with an open 20. Ryman up a 20. Well, they're tied in the 20, but Ryman has that hammer advantage. All he needs now is a valid shot to secure another two points and a commanding 6-0 lead 
in this race to nine. Seeing a couple of highlight 20s. There it is right there, that follow through. Fantastic shot. Players definitely finding their range now. Open 20 settling in. Back and forth battle. Hutchinson with the hammer in this round. I see Ryman do that once in a while, and uh, it's hard to argue with the success he has. Obviously, when he goes to shoot, something doesn't feel quite right. And he takes a second to completely reset. He pulls the disc away, wipes the wax, settles in. And uh, yeah, very, very high percentage success on his open 20 attempts although this time he has left Hutchinson an opportunity here Hutchinson secures the off and the 20 all he needs to do now is not miss <laughs> he goes a little long but uh, he's still in a decent position here forcing Ryman Ryman goes for that follow through 20 that would have been another big one right there Hutchinson secures that takeout, but definitely did not mean to drift in that far. Leaving Ryman an opportunity to get back in this match. Ryman secures that takeout 20. Hutchinson now shooting for the tie, which he gets. Sometimes those simple takeouts aren't all that simple because he needed to get the takeout and not end up anywhere near that, that uh, center hole. Hutchinson with his back to the wall. He's down seven to one. He's against the hammer. And uh, Ryman has again pulled play to the outside. Hutchinson goes, hold my beer and watch this as he rolls it right back in toward the middle. It's exactly what he needed. He's got an opportunity here. He generated the, op the, uh, the opportunity he was looking for. Oh, just barely off. Got the takeout. The angle was very nice. Game of millimeters right there. Both players just barely off with their takeout 20 attempts. Nice. That was a great shot by Hutchinson right there. Putting some pressure on Ryman. You may be looking at the scoreboard going, wow, it's 7-1 Ryman. But Ryman knows Hutchinson well enough to not count any chickens before they hatch. See what Hutchinson's able to do with this. He gets the takeout. He's going to need the off and the 20 here. Gets the 20, not the off, and he knows. He knows right there. All Ryman needs is to a 15. He drains the 20. Wins 9-1. to one. This match was much closer, in my opinion, than that score would indicate. Hope you've enjoyed this action. If you haven't already seen the other quarterfinals, go watch them right now. And stay tuned. The semifinals and the finals will be coming at you real soon. Make it a great day.